Ladies and gentlemen, we should be live here. Let me pull up my chat. I hope everyone is having a great day. I hope, I hope, I hope. One second chat. It is a, um, what's today? It's a Monday, right? It's a Monday. Yep, it's the first of the month, ladies and gentlemen. April 1st. All right, let me see if anyone's in, in here. No one has entered my chat yet, but hopefully people will be hopping in here soon. Let's see who's the first one. Yo, it's I'm Lost. I'm Lost is the first one in the chat. Welcome to the stream, I'm Lost. How are you doing today? CM Casey's here. How's it going, CM? What's up, what's up, what's up? How's it going, Solid, Mellow, Amy? How's everyone doing today? Avocados from Mexico. Amazing. Hey, Ryan, what's good? Yo, how's it going? How's it going? How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Let me look at the shop here. Let's see what my um daily offer is. Heat. Haze Tower Boost. Heat Haze Tower Boost. Let's equip that. That actually kind of looks cool. Let's equip it. Where do I... Where do I equip a Heat Haze Tower Boost? It's an... Boost. Here it is. Oh, it is already equipped. Alright. I'm good, thank How are you? I'm doing pretty good as well. I'm doing pretty good. No complaints. Hello, Bank Halleck. How's it going, Pre? How are you? What's up, Banana Farmer YT? How are you doing today, bro? What's up, what's up, what's up? Isn't the meta already set in stone for this season? Depends on the map. Ninja Elk is good, but not on all not on short maps. You're not gonna use Ninja Elk on um, Banana Depot. You're not going to use it on Banana Depot, brother. Play private server, please. We might do some private matches this stream. We'll see. Castle Runus. Probably skip this map. Oh, they skip. How's it going, Pat? Pat said Ninja. It's so where every second join is Ninja Elk Yeah, Ninja Elk is really popular this season. I've never used Ninja Elk on Garden, though. Hmm. Is Garden... Can you use it on Garden? Or no? I guess I'll try. This is one map where I've never really tried Ninja Elk before. I feel like the placements on this map aren't the best, is the thing for Ninja Elk. I don't think you got good placements here. We'll try our best, though. We'll see how this works out, chat. Oh, it's going normal door, which is interesting. They might be trying to get like a door XP to unlock Fate Weaver. That could be what my opponent's doing. Okay. Start with an Alchemist right here. On last. And then we'll get our Fate Weaver down round one as well. They're going Dartling. Oh, they're probably going Dartling Alchemist Farm, is my um, guess. They're probably going to try to be aggressive at me. Turn on screen, please. What do you mean, turn on screen? What do you mean by that? Hi, Ryan. How's it going, Ibrahim? How you doing today? This map always played Dart, Sniper, Ninja. Yeah, Dart, Sniper, Ninja is a pretty good one. Ninja, Dart, Elk on Garden, new meta. For real, for real. Ninja, Dart, Elk. It's a new Garden meta. Say. Do I go for a farm? Nah. Nah. That would have been too greedy. I probably would have leaked a million lives. Yeah, the alchemist doesn't hit very many balloons on this map. Is the problem. It's hitting like two balloons per throw. Hmm. Yeah, we're fine against the we're fine against these yellows though. I don't know if this is a good um I don't know if this is a good ninja elk map, chat. This might not be the map for it. We're trying to make it work, though. We got our first farm down. They did the same. It's the goat live, yes sir. Do I upgrade the farm here? Is that too greedy? It's 
probably too greedy. I need to go for a double shot. I need to go for a double shot. They use a door ability. All right. We use our Fate Weaver ability here. And now I'll upgrade my Alchemist. And I'm going to hope that's enough defense to handle. For this strategy, that's a terrible map. Yeah, I don't think this is the best map for Ninja Elk. But I was testing, so at least we know. For the future. This seems to be handling, though. Thankfully, the larger potions... Well, actually, right when I said that, we're leaking now. Maybe it doesn't handle. Hmm. Maybe it doesn't... Well, it's it's working. Okay. Go for a farm. Upgrade. Did you go for yells at me? I'll go for a second alchemist. Nothing. We're gonna go for another farm pretty soon. Hi, Ryan. How's it going, Elder King? How you doing today, bro? How's it going? How's it going? Now, if they're trying to just the elk farm... I just have to, they're gonna be really aggressive at me for sure. So I'm gonna have to defend aggression. Which is easier said than done. Use a door ability. We need to save up for a berserker brew on our end. One more eco boost. Come on. Give me it, give me it, give me it. There we go. We're good. Alright. We're fine. Hello, Ryan. How's it going, Justin? How are you doing today? How you doing, Justin? Just in time. Ninja. Ninja. Elk. One sec. Yeah, we're fine. I was reading the thing when he rushed me. Ninja. Elk. NG. Overclock. Slash. Ultra Boost. Perma. Ninja. Elk. NG. Okay, I'll go Ninja. Elk. NG for you. I appreciate the donation. Thank you so much. W's in the chat from my man Pat. Let's go. W's in the chat for Pat, you know what I'm saying. Thank you so much for the donation. Appreciate it a lot, Pat. Make some money from this lead to gold. And then we'll get a rubber to gold pretty soon. Ninja Elk Ace could also be good. Everybody like the stream as well. Is that a super chat I smell? Thank you. Jake has to have super as third, yeah that's true. He could have super monkey as third. I think they, I thought they were going, um, normal Adora though, to, what's it called, get Adora XP for Fate Weaver. Was my expectation. Lumisade. That was my guess. NG slash Alk, also awesome. Alt Nico, true, true, true. You might be cooking with this one, Pat. You might be cooking. Pat might be in the kitchen right now. Oh, I don't even have valuable bananas. Let's get that. Your videos are super helpful. Yo, thank you, Luis. Appreciate that. Maybe I shouldn't have boosted that. He's definitely going to re-rush me. It's going to be a big rush. Actually, no. No re-rush, surprisingly. Alright, let's send them a um, Moab. And we are going to sacrifice that. Make it faster.
Dude, the speed boost. They had to sacrifice something. They sacrificed their HRP, their thing. The speed boost is kind of crazy there. Do they have level 10 Adora now? Or no? I don't know. I'm gonna sacrifice another thing to boost it. Oh, they got their Bowl of Light available, actually. They did get level 10 Adora, because that's what I was curious about there. We'll send them a fortified BFP, because now they don't have the level 10 ability. Yeah, we're good against their BFB. Fine. They're good as well, nicely done. Okay. So it's Darling Ninja Alk is their loadout. Let's see. Darling Ninja Alk. Oh, they're sending me a big rush here, okay. Very big rush. Should be good here. Do I need to use my level 10 ability? Yes. All right, we're good. Level 10 solos. The door is broken, yeah. Rush them, they have bowl of light. I guess I could send them a fortified ZMG. Fortified ZMG wouldn't be a bad rush. But bowl of light does a lot for them, I think. Just wait for DDT. No, they can defend DDTs. They can defend DDTs with uh, Sticky Bomb and Sabotage pretty easily. Well, actually, no. If I adore a buff the DDT, if I speed up the DDTs with my Sacrifice, they might not be good against them. Hmm. That's true. I didn't think of that. I'll wait. I'll wait. I think I've got a good plan. They boosted. What we'll do? Is we'll hit them with uh, that DTs and we'll balloon boost. Oh, look how fast the DTs are. There's no way. There's no shot. Yeah, dude, it's so broken. It's so broken, bro. DUTs are so quick. Yay, Ryan's on my boy. My I'm doing pretty good, John and Deer. How are you doing, bro? How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? DUTs had nitro boost. True. Did you see a Z11 costing 120k screenshot from the four door level seven sack? I had a picture earlier. Let me show you. Of, um... Where is it? I had a game earlier where I was going to Zeely. And... A Zeely level 16 cost... $195,000. Because of the door level 7 sack. Very cool hero, very cool hero. Large Popper is our next match.
You thought Adora was weak? <laughs> good take. Good take with me. Good take. Um. Okay, so Ninja Elk Engineer was the requested loadout, but would that work on this map? I feel like this is not a good Ninja Elk map. I mean, I could maybe cook with it. It's a longer map. I just don't know about Ninja Elk on this map in specific. We'll try it. We'll try it, though. This was a Pat's, this was Pat's request. Okay, we'll place Ninja like right here. Where did I place it? No, right here. I want to hit it, I wanted to hit it at the start and the end. We'll start with the Elk though. Here we go. They brought Pat, so I don't have to worry about my placement with Pat. Okay, they're going Heli. Maybe Ninja Elk Heli for my opponent. That could be their loadout. Okay, we're good. Dang, Ryan, are you small popper compared to your opponent? Yes, I'm small popper compared to my opponent. They call my opponent the big popper. I know, it's kind of scary facing the big popper here. I don't know if I'll be able to win or not. Oh, my placements are bad. I just realized. My... My fedora is in the range of my alchemist. Hmm. So my alchemist is, is going to buff my fedora. I might want to go for a second alchemist, then. That's going to be in the range of my only my ninja, not my... Yeah, that's probably the best decision for me to make right now. Go for double elk. We'll just do double elk. Surrender at this point. No, I'm not going to surrender. Uh, unfortunately, we leaked two, so I don't have 150 lives anymore. My opponent's probably gotten... Oh, no, they got Super Monkey. Okay. Yeah, we can definitely kill him late game with Super Monkey. So, I'm not too worried about that. They've got Super Monkey. Put our ninja up. I thought it was Heli Village Super. You think it's Heli Village Super Monkey? I can kill them late game if that's their loadout, I'm pretty sure. He will get Discount Village. Or I can kill them early game as well, but I kind of wanted to take the strategy late, so. We'll see. Unfortunately, there's no life rejuvenation with this loadout, and they have life rejuvenation. Yeah, they used Pat ability. They actually aren't sending me any yellow balloons, which is interesting. They should be good against my yellows. They got range on their super monkey. How do you have fun playing this? I tried it, but it gets repetitive and boring. What are you playing what? Battles? I don't know. I don't play different maps. Play different loadouts. Different enemies you play against. Not like every game matches the same. The only time I get bored, I get bored, is if I'm playing against Esport for like the entire stream. He just snipes me over and over again, because then it's repetitive. But. Most of the time, it's not really the case. All right.
Call traps. I think your strategy is better than his. Yeah, I'd say so as well. Who's the best player in the game? Probably Ninjaius. Do I go for lead to gold here? Ooh, I'm a couple doors off. Come on. There we go. Close. So, rubber to gold is probably better than balloon trap here. Is my thought process since they're going eco. I'll probably get balloon trap later, but I'm gonna start with rubber to gold. Is Super Monkey not mad anymore? No. Rubber to gold plus balloon trap? Yeah, I could do that. He stopped this. They, they're going for an early heli farm, I think. They stopped their eco really early. Super duper early. When was the last time he cried? I don't know. Is there anything majorly wrong with Gwyn, Heli, Super Spike? Gwyn, Heli, Super Spike. You're going to probably die like round 13, around 11 with that loadout. In your opinion, what is the worst upgrade on Fate Weaver? Worst ability, are you saying, Alistair? Um, I don't know. Or, uh, what do you mean upgrade? Let's send them a um fortified Moab. Oh, they're sending me one. Okay. It's getting interesting. I should defend. Yeah, we're good. Get stronger stamina on my side. Yeah, they're good against my Moab. They use pad ability though, so I'm gonna send them another one. Send them another one. And what we'll do with this one is I'll sacrifice this and I'll balloon boost. They force tower boost. Are they dead? Or do they pop it in time? Oh, they're dead. GG's. I'll go Ninja Elk Engineer later for sure, Pat. I know that wasn't the longest game, but it is what it is. Bro, skibbity, bro, I don't know, dude. So, Fedora level 7 speed boost has a set range. I think the range is bigger, depending on what you sacrifice. Drunkard. Depending on how expensive the thing you sacrifice is. We're going to Uwu from the Collectors. This is Tigers. Bro, what? Why am I facing against Tigers, bro? Striker Johannes. Oh, they're going some sort of late mortar strategy, aren't they? I don't know if I want to go Ninja Elk Inji on this map. I'm going to wait to get like an Oasis or Sands of Time or Star, I think, to go Ninja Elk Inji again. I'll go Heli. Brian just said, ooh, clip it. Don't clip it. Don't clip it, chat. Don't clip it. You guys are going to clip it. Like, I saw someone clipped a clip of like Boltrix showing his feet on stream. I don't know what Boltrix was thinking, bro. Boltrix was bringing the dogs out. 
Uh, we'll start with the alchemist right here. Dart. Dart, Striker Jones. That's probably a bad alchemist spot. Okay, my Fate Weaver's not in the range, which is good. We'll just keep you going. Wouldn't ice have been better due to the 5 to 2 ice placement being so good over Elk? No. Because ice, you have a lot worse around 13. And then you also can't move a permabrew around the entire map. And the damage isn't the only thing that Alchemist gives. Attack speed, range, pierce, all are extremely helpful for Ninja. Ninja Ice is not near as good as Ninja Elk. Yeah, go for a ninja right here. Uh, not exactly Thunder. I mean, you could still follow my farming guide from seven months ago, and it's pretty accurate, but there's a couple of changes. That it, there's a couple of differences that are, are in farming now from when that guide was posted. A couple differences. Heli Elk is a pretty good combo for the blowback into Rubber Gold. Yeah, it is a pretty good combo for that. Plus, you also have the combination, uh, Michael, of moving around the Perma Brew with your support Chinook, which is good as two. What's the opponent's loadout? They brought Striker Jones. Maybe Dart Mortar Village. They get Striker Jones placed in the corner, bro. That's funny. Look at that. Because he wants to stop my Adore speed boost, I think. He's trying to stop my Adore speed boost. The thing about Dart Mortar, though. Mortar was nerfed in their recent update, where Mortar has less um, Mortar has less BAD damage now, compared to comparatively to the past. So I don't know how this is gonna work out for my opponent. I shouldn't have used level three ability, huh? I want to save that for um, I should save level three ability for what's it called? Later. For round seven. Oh, they leaked. Okay. Well, they have, if they have village, they don't have life rejuvenation, so. That's fine then. I think more late game just dies around 30 now. I mean, he's got Plasma Monkey Fan Club to help him out. And I'm not going farm or Jericho, so you can definitely defend round 30, depending on the situation, depending on how the game's going with everything. Alright, they got a sharpshooter on their side. What is bro cooking with the sharpshooter? Who that who let him in the kitchen, bro? Who let him in the kitchen? Who let bro cook? What was your favorite streamer growing up or like when you were younger? Um I don't even know when I got into watching streamers, to be honest. Like, who were the first ones I watched? So I'm not sure. I didn't start watching streams for a while. I mostly watched YouTube when I was young. Not streamers. I like your videos. Keep up, by the way. I use your code. Yo, thank you so much, Muhammad. I appreciate that a ton, bro. Appreciate it a bunch. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Alright, Randy, how's it going, chimp? We're gonna save up for a uh, rubbery wooden urn. One more boost of economy, and we can get it up. The 
you play Minecraft? Not anymore, but I, I used to play a lot of Minecraft. Minecraft's a really fun game. Use your code for like six, eight months now. I don't purchase stuff though, sadly. It's all good. I appreciate you using my code. Thank you, Mello. I appreciate that a ton. Thank you, thank you. Hopefully Super just dies around 32. Oh, it definitely does. It would die around 30 most of the time if you anti-stalled and went Star Captain Jericho. And the previous meta. And now with one less damage, it's gonna be like impossible. Change the LED color to make it purple. It will be better to make it purple. All right. Hopefully he doesn't rush me while I'm doing this. It looks kind of blue. I I clicked purple on like the remote, but it looks more bluish to me. But I got you, bro. I got you. What do we think their third is, chat? Brand you're cute. Thank you, Zade. What was the super bug fix? But, uh, previously, the support sacrifice on the super monkey gave plus one damage to everything in the range. But now it does not anymore. And because of this, the whole play with super monkey was spamming sun avatars late game and having the damage buffs. But now without the extra plus one, your sun avatars will have one less damage late game, which makes a ginormous difference. How do you fix your Twitch stream? Ran it just randomly works sometimes, I guess, with me. I don't. I honestly don't know why. What's up with it? Support Chinook has been bought. You think his third is back? I feel like whatever their third is, I'm in a winning position with my loadout. But I don't really know a third. It's Sniper, okay. Dark Mortar Sniper, yeah. So they're going to just send me a giant all-out rush, probably, with a million sniper farms is going to be their plan, I think. They're just going to send me a humongous all-out. Because you guys know how sniper farms work, where like you just make a million dollars from all the abilities. Wait, let me move my camera. It's blocking their sniper, I just realized that. They're going for their elite sniper, nicely done. I should probably go for a second rubber to gold as well. I kind of forgot to do that, because they're going eco. So second rubber to gold would be very wise. It would be very wise of me. Like that. Support Chinook. Looks like it's doing great right now. If only there's a money counter for Alk. Yeah, if there's a money counter for Alk, it'd be fantastic. But Alchemist Rubber Duel do make you a pretty absurd amount of money if your opponent's ecoing into it. Or if you're against Jericho and you can like decam all the balloons for the Alchemist to hit, it makes a crazy amount of money as well. So, Alchemist money generation is definitely quite good. The rubber to gold. It's definitely pretty solid overall. Look, you can defend all out bads easy. Not necessarily easy, because the thing about sniper farms is sniper farms 
will make them an absolutely absurd amount of money. Like, they'll be able to send me like a $2 million BD rush on round 39. So, even if I have a ton of defense, it's not necessarily an easy defend because of the size of rush that sniper farms can create. You can send a bigger rush with sniper farms than you can with banana farms at like the end of round 30s because sniper farms, you can just spam so many more. So, I wouldn't say it'd be necessarily easy for me to win. Opponent's track was very late. Uh, they can defend these stuff decently late with their loadout, but they're gonna have a lot more money than me. This is their main, um, the main selling point of their loadout? A little more money. Eventually. Sack a heli farm to slow a striker leveling? No, it's not worth it. I love catching the stream, let's go. Go Mahalik. Yo, thank you so much, Brandon. Appreciate that a ton. We're gonna start getting up a permabrew on our end. Why don't you use hockeys for heli ability? Uh, I've always been used to clicking the abilities personally, over using hockeys. I find it easy to click the wrong ability if you use hockeys and then it messes you up. Ninjas down. Keep collecting these. Okay, sounds good, King Vaughn. Let's move my perma brew. Collect these. Okay. Let's go for a master bomb on our side, and then this will be where I put my tool transformation. Four, five, strong. This will be a grandmaster ninja. Strong. Go for Grand Saboteur right here. Start to sell off a couple heli farms. 
for more ninjas. I also want to get a couple unstable concoctions for sure. It's going to be good for me. Does everything have permabrew over here? Pretty much. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep going around the world with the ninjas. I'm going to stop my eco. transformation right there. Sniper sound is so annoying. Yeah, I apologize about that. Might as well go for a BMA as well. We'll just place the BMA up here. Start spamming some more snipers. Or not snipers, ninjas. Around the top end. Does this have perma on everything yet? Not everything. Okay, we gotta wait a little bit. Might as well get a couple sticky bombs here. Get a um unstable concoction over here. Or two. Move my perma brew. Move Parma Brew, I did. Can't even move Perma Brugan. Okay. Send him some. Let's use Chains of Fate. Alright. Where is my total transformation? It's right here. I don't think opponent defends, they defend. I can't send that many because I focused on defense. But we're defending whatever they're sending me at the moment. Send one more. I need my boost back.
boost. Full transformation. Is that a super chat I smell? We defend, we defend, we defend. I guess the point of that rush was to make the opponents rush smaller, yeah. Grand Saboteur. You can send one more their way. So they have to keep some defense on their end. We use another Chains of Fate here. micro this one more time. Oh, yep, yeah, we won. We won. Because that's this is round 40. After round 40 ends, we win. We still need to nerf Mortar. That wasn't even Mortar doing most of the damage. It's Plasma Monkey Fan Club Cripple doing most of the damage probably for them. I didn't even send them that much. I sent them like five BADs. GG. Why is life regen even a thing? Without mortar, they die around 13. I guess, but mortar around 13 is more expensive than it's ever been. I sent a dono? Did you? I've been promoting your code in my streams. Let's go. Yo, James Mercier. Thank you so much for the donation, bro. Sorry, I just saw it. I was focused on the game. Appreciate that a ton. Thank you. I think Mortar's not broken anymore, for sure. It's been nerfed an insane amount. Thank you for the donation, bro. Appreciate that a lot. Hey, what hero was that? Or skin? I'm a BT6 player. It's a new hero in Battles 2 called Fate Weaver Adora, Mr. Apple. It's a brand new hero. How many people are in Hom? Uh, there might be... I don't know. Let's check. I'm top 10, by the way, which is pretty cool. 78. 78 people. Hi, Ryan. How's it going, would it? What's up? What's up? That's crazy with Mir. That's actually crazy that he does that. Hint, it was not you. Dude, that's a good hint. It's a good hint. W stream, thank you, Sava. Speak of the devil. Bro's skipping school to play battles too. Where do I even go on this map? An angelic farm. It's literally four o'clock. He lives in Pacific. He lives in California, Smiley. I think it's one there. And I played him like a couple hours ago when I was recording for a video as well. So he definitely skipped school to play. Or, I guess, just didn't have school today, but I find that unlikely. It's 122 there, Ryan? Yeah. Again, I'm placing my Adora too early. I keep placing it one EcoBoost too early, and I'm losing out on um, economy, which is a little bit unfortunate. This 
<laughs> I find that unlikely, Smiley. He skipped school to play to grind battles so many times. Find that pretty unlikely. Nice eco guide video, by the way. Thank you. Glad you enjoyed it. I did not see that, Jilla. When did you do that? days ago he uploaded a YouTube video. Oh, I didn't even know Ninjaris had a YouTube. Interesting. I'll have to check it out. Watch his video, the intro is hilarious. <laughs> Maybe I'll watch it on stream. If it's not a super long video, I'll watch it after this game. Let's see. Depending on the video length. It's 20 minutes, but watch the first five seconds. I'll just look at the end to see what the tier list is. And I'll probably watch the whole thing later to see here what his reasoning is and everything. Let's just boost. I definitely uh, greeted too hard with my farms, but it's fine. Should be good against the yellows. Another farm down. You think a sniper has his third? Sniper? Uh, I think it's probably Heli. Is their third? How did the charity tournament go? I didn't make top three. Well, I, actually, it's not over for another 50, 40 minutes, but I'll show you the leaderboard. I'm not gonna make top three for the charity tournament. Fortunately. It's glue, I think. I think it's glue. Yeah, I'm not gonna go kill him around 11. He has enough money for the alk buff jutsu with the... 0 one, 1 at the start. It's fine. Unlucky man, but still help raise money for good cause, yeah. Let's force their jitsu. Yeah, okay, Force Jitsu stronger stem. I'll take that. Which keep farming. They have enough money. To, they have enough defense to defend these rounds. So there's no point of all outing them. They under ecoed like crazy. My only hope is that they'll be too poor for later rounds because of how safe they played the early game. I'm probably done ecoing by the way for the match because I don't want to feed their rubber to gold. So I'm not going to go for very much eco. I'm done with my economy chat. Let's go for a bank. Doing my own list right now, one sec. All right.
I want to I want to see it when you're done. Your eco is six six six, slow brother. When you change that, okay. I sent one. I sent one balloon, bro, for you. I did change it for you. I got you. What targeting is better for rubber to gold? I keep it on close typically. Close targeting is ideal for rubber to gold. I'm pretty sure. I can eco when the rubber to gold after the rubber to gold throws for a little bit though. So I'll do that. I should have been doing that. Kind of missed some opportunities to make to make more eco without them benefiting. What do you think their third is? Sniper or heli? One of the two. Probably heli, I'd imagine. Bet it's heli. I died? What? What did I even die to? I used my level 3 ability, bro. That's actually so dumb. I used my level 3 ability. Did it miss a balloon or something? What is that? I didn't even see anything leak. It must have just missed a balloon. And that must have been enough balloons for me to die. Super unlucky. Level 3 ability curved away from the balloons that were first? Bro, what? I just got screwed by the ability curving away. What is that? In Jairus YT video, I can't because I got another match. Dude, I got screwed because my ability curved away. Like, what am I supposed to do about that? That's actually crazy. If it curved the correct way, I wouldn't have died. It's on first targeting. Why is it not hitting the first balloon? I just lost because of that. Very frustrating. I feel like I had a decent shot of winning that game too. My opponent's eco was pretty bad and I would've gotten a fifth tier farm pretty quick and then started draining. Okay, opponent's going the same load and Jairus is going, so we'll be able to run this back and hopefully not die to AI this time. Have a better time roll around. Or they're probably going the same loadout. I'm guessing it's Heli Elk, Nin Heli Elk Ninja. Your, your list was Ninjaius, 1, Sambo, 2, Ryan, 3, Dino, 4, 
eat I'm lost. Secret, you're here. I don't th I don't think you can rank someone fourth who's played for like one or two seasons. And I don't think Dino got any crazy badges either. Even if they were super skilled. Would you say you're a big influencer in what's meta for ranked? I feel like I see a video in the next match everyone's got locked down already. Yeah, I'd say I have a big influence on what's being played in ranked. I'd say so. I feel like everyone just forgot about April Fools. I did not see any attempts today online or IRL. I saw a couple attempts earlier today. But I don't know. I didn't know what to do for April Fools, so I just didn't really do it. I don't know what I would have done. Okay, I think it's decently likely uh, uh smile of the foot over Ecos. The reason why I thought I had a good chance last game is because Njai stopped his eco extremely early. So I couldn't kill him round 13, but that would have made them poorer in the late game. Smile on the other hand, I think will probably over eco. And then might die round 13. Forced boost and their level 3 ability, which is what I was going for. And they're dead. Yep. That's what happens when you eco too much. Alright, let's see this tier list that Ninjaius made real quick, guys. Let's check it out. Ninjaius BTD. That BT Battles 2 top 10 players of all time. Oh, someone said it was 20 minutes long. It's only 51 seconds. Okay, we'll watch the whole thing. Top 10 Bacon. Micro 7.3, Knowledge 6, Farming 7, Defending 6, Versatility 7, Overall. Wait! <laughs> Wait a second. How, every part is above six or six or above. How is the overall five? What? Okay. Adam, micro six, knowledge seven, farming eight, defending eight, brutality seven. Bro, does, this is not averaged. He has one six and the rest are sevens and eights and 6.5. This is why bro's skipping school. Bro needs to take more, go to math class more. Update flash. Okay. High farming on that micro six. Overall 6.9. I agree with these are I agree with lots of these rankings to a degree. I know a lot of these players are pretty good. Micro, yeah, your hero has really good micro, so 9 out of 10 makes sense.
secret. Why is rushing not a category? I feel like rushing should be a category, right chat? Micro, knowledge, farming, defending, versatility. I feel like you could have changed... Maybe just add rushing as a category. Because secret was known for his rushing. I feel like he'd be like... That'd be the highest ranked part of him. Rushing should be a category for sure. Roscoe. Micro 7, knowledge 8. 8.5. I don't I don't think Roscoe should be top 5, to be honest. He didn't play very long. Sambo as 4th. Sambo should be top 3, probably. I'm guessing you put I'm Lost as 3rd. I'm Lost as 3rd, yeah. Micro, 9 out, 7 out of 10. Knowledge is 9.5. Defending, 9. Vitality 8.5. Ryan Mahalik gave me an 8 on micro, but a 10 on knowledge. 9.5 on farming. 9.6 on defending. 9 on versatility. I feel like my micro is better than an 8. If I were doing it, I'd probably say 9 micro. High 9 on Knowledge. I don't know if I do 10 on Knowledge. Um, farming, probably a high 9 as well. Defending is probably my strong suit. I'd say 10 on Defending. And then Versatility, 9 out of 10 makes sense. Did he rank me higher than him on anything? Okay, he ranked me higher than him on um on defending and versatility. Okay. One all series, your micro 8.5. We're in yapping category because you would get a 10. I agree with most of the people on this list. Besides, I think Sambo should be higher. I think Roscoe should be lower. Yeah. Besides that, it's a pretty good list. Give him a high. Now watch the first five seconds of his other video. Bro, what do you guys want me to do? First five seconds of his other video. <laughs> I'm gonna go star captain. If we get a ZJ pick here, <laughs> I'm gonna go star captain. If we get a ZJ pick here, I'm gonna go star. <laughs> what a video intro, bro. Goat intro. Oh, we're against Paper, bro. We're just gonna go Ninja Elk round 50. That's what it's gonna be a lot of the time this season, I think. Just Ninja Elk round 50 games. Yeah, we got Koru, so. Not a Ninja Elk map. Ninjaris is a goat, true. What do I wanna go here? I go bo Boomer Mortar with Fedora. Go Boomer Mortar Engineer. Okay. Well, Engineer got nerfed hard. No. Oh. No, oh, no, 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 no. Or. Nah, I'll go farm. 750 for Bloom Trap, bro. Ryan, bro, don't spam. All right, can we make a new series starting a new account showing us how to progress for the new people who want to be better from scratch? I don't know. I, I find the new account series are just not very fun for me because it's way too easy playing in the lower arenas. Personally. From my experience. I've never had fun with the new account type series.
There are videos already out there like that? Yeah, that as well. It's all good, spend a lot. Just don't spam in the chat, please. Yeah. It's like asking LeBron to go back to middle school. <laughs> LeBron to go back to middle school. What an analogy. Oh my gosh, thank you for the Twitch sub. Yo, SSJ345, thank you so much for the Twitch sub, bro. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing good. Oh, I'm leaking way too much. I, um, should have been paying more attention. Yeah, this is not good. I'm in trouble. Why did I start with a ricochet? I just realized that. You're supposed to start with a, um, I think I'm dead. You're supposed to start with a, what's it called on this map? A bionic. Okay, we avoided all their steel, which is good. Okay, well now I have a pro big problem against Jericho camos. Wait, does it? If Fedora gets camo detection with his ability, right? So I can deal with some camos with the ability, which will be nice. Fedora gets camo detection with the ability for sure. Wait! Never mind, I, my boomerang's throwing. Maybe switch the hand? I don't... Well, now I can't rely on the ability because we just almost died. Cell farm. They haven't upgraded their Jericho yet. There we go. I wanted to wait as long as possible to cell farm. Okay, this is not good for me. Avoid the steel. On the bright side, they're going normal Jericho, which isn't that great of a hero, but... My early game has been awful, so I, I'm definitely fighting from behind here. dead. Alright, we still got the win. We still got the win. Okay. That was not a clean game, chat. That was not a clean game at all, but we, we got the win. I'll take it. Take what you can get. GG clean game. That was... No. With me, that was not clean. Necro broken. Nerf whiz. True. My plan there was... After he sold his Necro to get his Maelstrom, I would have sent like Camel Purples on the next round. And then just kept sending them stuff and just making them micro over, over and over again. And then they'd eventually run out of money. And if they tried countering me, I could have boost in um, Fate Weaver Door level 3 for counters. Ninja should get a Pierce buff? No. Ninja's already broken, bro. They should, shouldn't have gotten a Pierce buff. Paper equals cheat bot. Oh, we're against, we're against eSport here. How fun. Good luck, this is me. Would he even go on Precious Space these days? I don't even know what you're supposed to go on this map. Yo, Ryan, you doing any YouTube content off the stream? 
Sometimes I make, um... Occasionally I will make YouTube shorts during streams. I never really make YouTube vids during streams. So. Yeah. Go Druid Sub Farm. And Kyle Trap should double Moab damage and ceramic damage. True that. Start with my Druid. Heard Precious Space is a good Smudge Cat map. Smudge Cat. I haven't really used Smudge Cat since the update. They did get buffed slightly, but I feel like Fate Weaver door is probably just much better. How would you buff Pat to make him more useful? Uh, probably lower his base cost and increase his pierce. This is the main thing I would do for some, for uh, Pat. They have to buy their powerful darts there. See if I can get my farm down before the round ends. Or if it got anti stalled. Oh, I didn't get it down in time. I didn't get a banana chat. No banana for Mr. Mahalik. Not what you want to see. I want the bananas, bro. Yeah. Okay, we're at 136, which means I need to go down to um 56 at least for my druid buff. Last, last. They got jamming down. No, it was impossible to get that banana out, SSJ. They got anti stalled. They're around to anti stalled a little bit. It's not about how quick I would have placed it. Make Pat $650 vouchers, grab him here. $650 for Pat would be too low, I think. I think like 800 is a good amount for him. Alright, Mahalik, I'm in Golden Empire's place. Nice. Do I get a banana from this farm? I do! I placed this farm mid ground, I got a banana from it. I'll take that. I'll take that. Extra banana there. Extra banana here, extra banana there. Bananas, bananas everywhere. Eat your bananas. Be healthy. Okay, we're fine. Let's use a door level three ability. What is the door on? It's on last. No. That was on first. Uh oh. Upgrade. I fine. I'm weak. I'm low now because the, the door was on last. I didn't know that till now. Hey, I'm on Twitch. Welcome to the stream. Get a submarine down just in case somehow we miss a purple balloon. I don't want to die. I don't think I'll miss a purple balloon, but you never know these days. You never know with the economy and everything if your druid's gonna miss a purple balloon. Good. Be rough. Uh, plantation up. Bananas taste bad. True. Oh, I need to send them leads. I'm late to it. That's unfortunate. I should have sent those earlier. I'm late to the party chat.
Does this not get through? I thought this is what you're supposed to do. Hey, we won! We won! It doesn't matter if they have boost and level 3 ability, we still can get through. Just gotta send a big rush. That's all you need to do. That's all you need to do, chat. Just send a big rush. Why didn't they send purples? Purples wouldn't do anything, Krunker. I have boost and Adora level 3. That defends purples long enough. I can, I can defend purple counter with boost and Adora 3. Bro, one with seven HP. True. It, them sending purples just means they'd have less defense and def die earlier to my rush. <clears throat> but they die anyways. They were close to defending. They have a better chance going for the defend than countering. They're close. Regrows and battles one were crazy. Yeah. Yeah, if I had like Star Captain Jericho or something there to increase the like regrow rate, that would have got been a lot more dangerous rush for sure. Early Dartling needs buffs? No. Dartling just isn't that good on that map. On other maps, his his loadout would defend, for sure. That rush. I just fit nine boats on Salmon. Prove it. Prove it, Smiley. Take a screenshot, send it to me. I want to see it with my own eyes. You need to prove it, bro. Prove you fit nine boats on Salmon Ladder. DM you or sent in general. Either is fine. You need to prove all we have is faith. True. You got a match. Jake 6542. They skip. Salt. I'll skip. We got Koru. Uh, ah, okay. They're going Azili. Azili, you say? We'll go Attack Mortar or Boomer Mortar? The, the questions of the day. Hmm. Attack Mortar or Boomer Mortar? A Boomer Mortar. This time I won't lose early game. Ninja Alk? No, Ninja Alk is not very good on um on Koru. But I guess I could go it because they're going to Zeely, so they don't have that much offensive pressure with their loadout. So maybe Ninja Alk would be good playing into a Zeely. Might be a good decision. It's probably gonna be Tack Wiz from them. I'd imagine. You stream on YouTube as well? Yes, I'm streaming on both YouTube and Twitch. How's it going, Azuna? 
Hormorn's meta here until they fix level 7 bug. I need to send them spaced balloons to um, force upgrades on their side. Or leaks. I like Talk Village Glue. Yeah, Talk Village Glue is fun. Yeah, we force their attack shooter upgrades. Keeps on strong for now. And we'll get our first farm down here pretty soon. Perfect. Perfect. They get their farm down as well. Nicely done. Can I upgrade my farm or is that too greedy? Probably too greedy, right, chat, to upgrade my farm? That'd be like a bad decision, right? To go for a farm upgrade right now. Would be a really bad decision. That'd be really bad and greedy if I did it. Oh crap, I did it by accident. Dang it, bro. Upgrade your balloon bot. Upgrade my balloon bot. The balloon bot deserves an upgrade. Yeah, one eco boost, I can afford my bionic. Come on. Come on. We're fine. Not even close, not even close, not even close. Do it, no balloons. <laughs> Farmer should pop the balloons, true. Farmer should indeed. Swap Boomer's hand. It works equally as well with both hand directions on this map. I just like having it this way though. Three zero zero Boomer does not exist. It's better to start with the Bionic on this map. Scroll through general after this game. Okay, I will. I will for you, Smiley the Foot. Go for a third farm, that's fine. I'll go for a third farm on my end. They're actually upgrading it too. Alright. I'm going to be able to force their farm cells here, pretty sure. They're dead. Wait, what? I'm dead. No, I thought I had money for my... Oh my gosh, I had to sell my boomerang. I thought I had money for my freaking signal flare off the rip. I didn't. I sold that game so hard. I should've just sold a farm. That was really bad. If I just sold a farm, I would've won the game easily. I thought I had enough money for my signal flare without selling anything, and then I had to sell a boomerang to get it. So now I was just in a bad position. Ah, uh, oh well. Against eSport. Why is he sniping me? Pirate Cove. Alright. You sent me a you sent me a picture of it. Let's see let's see. Nine boats on salmon ladder. Four, five, six, seven. He did do it. Congratulations. I don't need to figure out the tech. 
I need to figure it out sometime. You are him. Yeah, I had that game in the back, dude. After I made them sell every single farm on round 11, I just need to sell one farm against his counter rush. What does he win? Congrat congratulations from me. Nine votes on salmon is propaganda. It's not propaganda, bro. Ryan, do submarine only. I'm not gonna do submarine only, bro. I'd lose. Also, submarine did get nerfed recently. If H bomb beat chimps only using submarine, you have no excuse. Dude, H bomb is him though. I'm not him. Sub deserves to be better, to be honest. No, sub was really strong. One of the most used towers last season. Bomb sub farm dominated. Now it's not only because bomb was good, it's because sub was also extremely good. Sub does not deserve to be stronger, it's already strong. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying, brother. Sub's already strong. Okay, one more eco boost. I'm just gonna stop my eco here so we can another farm. What? I didn't get a banana from that, bro. This game is stealing my bananas, bro. I'm gonna go bananas if they're stealing my bananas. I might just go bananas on you guys. What have you found already for meta strats? Ninja Alchemist is pretty much meta on a lot of maps right now. Ninja Alk strategy, so Ninja Alk Farm, Ninja Alk Heli, Ninja Alk Sniper. All three of those are really good loadouts. Good against this nonsense that they're sending me. We're chilling, we're chilling. Sub nerfs were fair to be honest. Yeah, I think the nerfs were good. They did so. You gonna rush me here? Waiting on it. So far, nothing. They go for a plant, that's fine. Get signal flare up on my end. We have a much higher eco than them. Like a substantially higher eco. But they're saving money, so they're probably gonna rush me.
super good against all that. We're fine against that. Wait, no, I'm not! Oh, I'm good. Okay. Force them self harm, I'll take it. We're up on eco by a lot here. Probably should mix in purple balloons. Okay. Stop my eco right there. Oh, are they lag switching me? Okay, I don't think so. Well, maybe they are because we're sinking twice when he rushed me. We're good. Okay. We're fine. Esport would never lag switch. True, dude. Esport lag switching? Couldn't. They're dead. Never mind, this is eSport. Angry Rooms must be back as well. This is eSport that I'm against. eSport being banned doesn't change anything. He just creates a new account. Was lag switching? Um, syncing the game? Like, spoofing with your Wi-Fi and stuff while you rush your opponent to sync the game? And then it will, like, Lag the game and make your opponent not be able to micro. Esports done it in the past, so that's why I was wondering. He ended live stream after that. Makes sense. GG. Paper, RNG. Why do you never play events? Just not a fan of events too much. Not a huge fan of the event game modes. Sun Palace, bro. Alright. Go oh, Ninja Elk Farm here. They're going normal Jericho. This paper really likes normal Jericho, which is interesting. Don't know why. Big normal Jericho fan. I guess it's better comparatively now after they nerfed Highway Man, but. Oh, they're going Alchemist as well. They might be going Ninja Elk. As well. Ninja Elk Farm, maybe? With normal Jericho? Is it a mere matchup? Just different heroes? Possibly. Maybe I should have brought Heli instead of Farm. 
Kind of felt like going farm though. It isn't better than Highwayman, by the way. It's probably not better than Highwayman if your opponent can avoid seals well. So it depends on the opponent. Technically, doesn't he make he makes you the most in steals if your opponent doesn't avoid them at all. But the, if you're in whole masters, the opponent's most of the time going to be able to avoid the steals pretty well. So you don't you make the least in steals if your opponent's avoiding them well. They're going eco, bro. I didn't know you'd be going to eco loadout. I thought he'd be bringing a farm loadout. Oh wait, no, they're sending me blues. I I think they're actually going farm. And maybe not. I'm not sure. They might just be layering on me for fun. I should sell my farmer because I want to avoid Jericho steals. So. the steel well. Stronger acid. And they got their double shot up nicely done. They'll get their next steel round um seven, if I remember correctly. No, they're going eco. They're going eco. They have cinnamon greens. Okay. Eco with Ninja Elk Jericho is interesting. It's not farm. shot. Avoid. We avoid a decent amount of the steel still. That's good. Go for a third farm. People be ignoring level 7 Fedora nowadays, huh? Yeah, a lot of the time. I feel like, yeah, I don't like their Jericho placement too much. For that reason. I don't think they really put much thought into it. They just were trying to place their Jericho outside the range of their, um... What's it called? Outside the range of their Elk buff, I think. Their placements. I guess I don't know their third here, which is a little bit dangerous. No! Yes! Oh, I sent camos by- I should have sent purples earlier. I almost died to the counter. We're good. Not even close. Not even close, not even close, not even close. I used my durability a little bit late as well against the counter. If I used my durability immediately with boost, then I probably wouldn't have even leaked and they would have died before I leaked. But I used it late so it was like chasing the balloons weird.
And Bonanza when Fedora was brand new. I sacrificed a Blue Master Alchemist for fun, and this speed cycled up for like five minutes. What? That's crazy. That's OP, Daniel. Bro, cycle, cycle, sacrifices BMA for fun. For funsies. Miranda, you see Ninjara, sacks sell his monkey wool around 31 to make them losses easily cost 117k. I had a game earlier. Um, I had a game earlier where my Azili cost 190k LMS to upgrade. Yeah, we'll play Peekov. I try to snipe every game. Why? I don't know. I keep playing paper. It's like my third or fourth time playing them today. I got you with the posture check, keep boy. Yo, good night, LMS. Thank you for stopping by. Appreciate it. Everybody like the stream, by the way, if you're enjoying. Like the stream up. Okay. Start with my tax shooter right here. I placed it. There we go. Placed it late. Couldn't get the placement down. So I'll leak a little bit because of that. That's fine. And I think my fedora will go right around here. And my Fedora's targeting is kind of trash. Not gonna lie. Hit the balloons, please. Okay, they go for blade. I go for 2 2 0 attack. They're gonna keep layering on me. That's fine. I'll just tank the leaks. I don't leak that much here, I'm pretty sure. Target on strong when they're layering, and they'll target on first when the balloons come around. Who won the charity thing? Boltrix did. I'll show you guys the leaderboard here in a second, after this game. I'll show you guys the charity leaderboard. My man, Boldy Boy, won it. The man, the myth, the legend. We got enough time for a farm. No way! I thought I'd get the farm down in time. The round got was shorter than I thought it'd be. Unfortunate. Unfortunato. I was expecting Tuity with his mind this 12 year old audience army. I think Tuity might have gone second. We'll see. Did I force boost on their end? Take it. Did I force two fireballs? That's good. I'll send purple balloons, why not? You can honestly send... On round 8, you can honestly send whites, blacks, or purple balloons, and all three are pretty solid eco options. With how the numbers work out. Okay, 
Okay, he builds up that. Did that not do anything? I guess not. I thought I was cooking with that rush, guys. But I think I might have burned the kitchen down. Unfortunately. I shouldn't have just sent them any region zebras, to be honest. I spent a lot of money on that. Do nothing. Oh, they're dead. My, um, Sacrifice boosted my balloons through. Sacrifice is so strong, if you're just gonna sell something anyways. It's such a good, um, ability on the Fate Weaver. You get so many wins with that. Okay, let's check the leaderboard, guys. Let's check the leaderboard out. Give me a second. Let's see what the final standings of the charity event were. Alright. Because I think it just ended, like, a couple minutes ago. So, Boltrix in first place with 1,081,000 points. 2 in second, 564,000. ISAB in third, 459,000. Tuber in fourth, 395,000. Me in fifth. And then SJB, Spoon. I don't know who that is, to be honest. Lothar, Kevin Gaming, and OJC. Pretty awesome that they uh, did this thing, to be honest. Pretty cool charity event that they did. So, GG's to other content creators, and be cool to see what um, cosmetics, bull tricks, 2 and ISAP come up with. Can you show cosmetics, Ryan? What do you want to see? One sec, Chad. What just happened? I can't find my. One sec, one sec, one sec, one sec, one sec. Oh, I see what I did. Okay. We're good. We're good. He has no flother. Yeah, who's flother? Is he a. Uh... Balloons YouTuber? I haven't seen him. Jake6542. What's your cosmetic gonna be? I didn't get a cosmetic, Master. I didn't make it in- I didn't get top three. So I don't have a cosmetic for it. Ron Gwen? Get top three skill issue. True. The real ones know you're number one. True that. Go Ninja Elk Sniper here. Ninja Elk Sniper. Did you pass Tuber? No, I didn't. I did not. Yeah, 
I'll start with my elk. Windolin's interesting here. We'll have to wait and see what they're rocking with. Loadout wise. Oh, I guess I am going to leak here. That's fine, though. I can kill with them, I'm pretty sure. Even if I leak. I'll have enough money from sniper farms. Heli. Oh. It's not Bodog Ninja. Who said Bodog Ninja? It's gonna be Heliok Ninja here for my opponent. Bro, who said Bodog Ninja? Oh, it was Jilla. Who's excited for Tuber Tuber cosmetics? Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what they come up with. It's okay, it's okay, Jilla. Why are they balloon boosting at me? I should be sending them space I mean group stuff. My leaks don't matter. I already leaked, so I don't know why they're trying to make me leak more. Wait, do they? Oh, no, they have eco. Yeah, there's some eco. And some pinks. There's the elk. Uh, we'll keep Alcon last, maybe. Just hit the balloons early. Made a cosmetic for Tuity. It looks hilarious. I'm not sure what Ice Have and Boltrix are going to be. Yeah, I feel like Tuity's is going to be really nice because he has, like, art, um, artists and stuff that work for him. So he can spend a lot of time on his, um, cosmetics. Up now, what's your most favorite strat, Ryan? Favorite strategy? Maybe Bolt Alchemist Spike Factory, but it's not as good this season because Ninja Alk. Dominates most maps. The Bodok Spike Factory is one of my favorite strats for sure. Well, Spoon Fanboy, true. Through that, Mr. Withmere. Fluent in Japanese? Yeah, I'm fluent in Japanese, bro. Our subs called Medic should be a Flying Fortress X3 X Super Monkey Sada. True. They got the Razor Rotoring up. Nicely done. Sada Cosmetics before she's even added. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. I definitely am up on Eco here, but it's going to be interesting. They're probably just going to try to survive round 40, and I've got to kill them. With a humongous rush, it's gonna be how this game ends up playing out. So we'll see who ends up winning. Basically, the gist of what will happen. Maybe keep some strong. Hmm. 
Do I try to cheese them? Or can I? Yeah, we force the flash bomb on their side. I'll take that. That's all I wanted to do. Get bait out of flash bomb. Purchase. Just to slow down their eco. I'll take it. Okay, shouldn't send black balloons into a rubber world. I don't think I would have. I don't think I would have been able to kill them. I don't think so. They had too much money. The rounds got stalled too much. Are group whites viable now? Yeah, group whites are a pretty good pressure send. Are they gonna re rush me? I should not be sending white block wounds towards them. Okay, we're good against the Moab. It's good that we've got them aggressing into me now. The way they win this is by playing full passive and having as much money as possible late game to defend my rush. I can get them playing aggressive into me. It's beneficial to me, in my opinion. Ninja Heliok is my new favorite strat. Yeah, it's a really good strat. Let's load up my opponents going. You like Fate Weaver or or Gwen better with NHA? Um, I think Fate Weaver's probably better, but both can work for sure. Both are good. Like 7k. No, I'm a couple dars off. Uh oh. Come on. Fleet sniper. There we go. Let's keep on supply drops. Uh, keeping this around might not be the smartest idea because my snipers will eventually just pop all the balloons and my rubber gold won't make any money. So, we'll see about that. I send them a little bit of a rush. Sacrifice you. Forced a boost on their side. We're forcing a sabo as well. This is good. And uh, and we forced them to sell their yeah. We forced a ton there with that rush. We made them sell their heli farm as well. That's great. That was a great rush. I'll take it. Slow down his money, yeah.
Send F bad. Okay, I'll send an F bad in round 26 real quick. Good idea. I'm gonna stop my eco at 4350. Yeah, that's a good amount. I shouldn't have done that. I wanted to build up the sniper in time, but I didn't get it out. Micro sniper builders to get faster? No, it's not good to micro snipers. Better just to keep him up. You lose too much money selling the sniper for the ability to micro for micro to be worth. They died of one FTT, by the way. No, they don't. They can get a mob shove to slow it down too, but they sabotage in sticky bombs. It's good. Is it worth perma brewing a cripple Moab? Not really. I need to sell a lot of heli farms to defend this. You can see how drained they are in comparison to me. I've got a lot more money making on went on, on my side than they have on theirs. I think I might go for one more sniper farm. Let's see. Start saving up for my perma brew. They should defend this, but it takes up a lot more space than snipers, and they had to sell heli farms to defend my rushes too. One or two more snipers, or three. Or four. Yeah, that's probably enough sniper farms. I start building up defense on my end. Is this in the range? Yeah, it should be. Actually, I wanna keep my, probably keep my master bomb back here, actually, now I think about it. Ninja Elk Village, alright, I got you, Kevin. Thank you so much for the donation, bro. Appreciate it a lot. Ryan, you're struggling with AIMF mobs. You're not good, Chief. I'm fine, bro. I have $60,000 I can build up for defense.
Thank you for the donation, Carbon. W's in the chat for my boy Carbon. Oh, I just bought per I just bought Grandmaster on this one. Which wasn't really the spot I wanted it, but that's fine. Is that a super chat I smell? Thank you. Ninja out the village. I want to transform, let's see, probably these five shinobis. So we'll follow, put sabotages around them. This will be where my cripple goes in case they rush me. Get the second bomber. Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, I should have bought, I should have built up more sniper farms. I don't have as much money as I would have liked. I definitely should have built up more sniper farms. I went too much on the defense, especially when they probably aren't going to rush me. Berm on 205 sniper, no. They're not even gonna rush me. And 205 sniper is not that good with perma charge. Perma brew. Ninjas are pretty much better for the space. I should have um I should have filled up the entire map with sniper farms earlier. It's too late for me to build more sniper farms now, but I don't have enough money, I'm pretty sure. I needed to do more sniper farming. I'm gonna wait a little bit longer before I send. No Grand Sabo? No, I'm. There's, he's not gonna counter me probably. The thing is my opponent's putting all their money into defense. I don't think they're even gonna counter me. So building up more defense on my end is just pointless. I can build up a Grand Sabo if they do rush me, but just building up beforehand. A big mistake I've made in this game is building up a ton of defense for no reason, really. All right, here we go. On. Let me get the sacrifice back to balloon boost everything. I think they defend. I just didn't have enough money, to be honest. I need more money. It's Joe over chat. I played it better. I think I could have killed. I could have won this, but 
They don't have tier 5 helis. Tier 5 helis don't do anything, really. The ninjas are better. Actually, they might not defend. There's a chance. They might not. I see leaks on my side. I, I, they've died like 10 times over on my side. Okay, they're dead. GG. I definitely could have played that a lot better, though. If I focused more on sniper farms, I could have probably sent a ton more B80s. At, le at least 10 more B80s if I played that, if I focused more on sniper farms. But GG. That was a fun one. Nice desync. Yeah. Desync goes kind of crazy sometimes. All right. Let's hop in another one. He should have sent two to three bads. No. I don't think so. If he said two to three F-bads, he would have had substantially, substantially less defense. They were pretty much out of money building up defense, Krunker. They probably wouldn't have been able to afford their total transformation and stuff. Is it possible to be leaked this with Sniper? Yeah. It's possible, but it's not really a necessity most of the time. Because you can kill them before on 40. But yeah, it's, but you can you just have to send a little bit more space blues on round one, and then you're leakless pretty easily. It's not that difficult to be leakless. When can you do a private server? I'm just doing ranked matches. Mirror me, Ryan. Dartling Ice Farm. Okay. Probably should skip this map then, huh? We got inflection? Oh. What is this? I got a Miram on inflection with Darling Ice Farm. We're going, we're going back to season seven with this one, chat. Um. I don't think any of them are really meta anymore. Kami. A uh, bomb sub farm might be meta on a, still a, some of the harder maps, but Starling Super Village and Ace NG farm aren't very good anymore. Season 7? Yeah, this is when Darling Ice was really popular. Or no, it wasn't Season 7, it was Season 10. Or Season 9. I didn't have to I didn't have to um agree to it, Smiley. It's the difference. I didn't have to agree to it. Who leaked more? Oh, they have a slower snowpot spot, so I probably leaked more. Yeah, they their snowpot spot's lower, a lot lower than mine. But you did? I mean, sometimes people have set a strategy in the chat, and I've just done it as well before. That's the same exact thing as what just happened. Like, without a super chat. Yeah, they went for a farm. Loon boost. Force tower boost out on them. Yeah, they're down. They're getting leaking down low after they went for the farm, and they used tower boost. So, I mean, I guess they get more bananas than me. Oh, they placed their farm where my camera is, bro. Why'd you place it there? Come on, bro. Not really, Skibbity.
Brian with Pebrew, Caltrops are 31% of the DPS of a 402. Really? I don't think I don't think uh, Pierce affects um, Caltrops. I've heard Kevin. Pretty sure Pierce buffs don't affect Caltrops. Pierce buff from Elk, yeah. I don't think it affects the Caltrop Pierce. Or the Pierce buff, Pierce buff from the Shinobis. Yeah, Pierce affects snipers. Well, no, Pierce doesn't affect the snipers main bolt. Pierce affects snipers, um, shrapnel. The main bolt from the sniper, even with Pierce buffs, won't hit more than one balloon. That makes sense. Definitely got a high eco lead on my opponent here. They've been a little bit aggressive. They're dead to AI. They're dead to AI leads, bro. Dude. Their snow pot spot was bad. Oh my gosh. GG. I didn't even see the leads. He's getting his Dartling leaks then. Yeah, bro, I was getting his dartling leaks in. I'm top three, what? How, bro? I'm going these bozo loadouts. When did I get top three? All right. I'll take it. Bad placements and questionable rushes, but I mean, yeah, those were indeed questionable rushes. I mean, the round 13 rush can kill a lot of people, because a lot of people would just boost and think that will defend, but you needed I needed my um, cryo cannon as well with a boost to defend it, because it's camo, so Pat doesn't do anything. Alright, we have to go, um, we have to go the one that one person was saying. What was it? It was... Ninja Alk Village. Go Ocean Open with it. Ninja Alchemist in Villaje, ladies and gentlemen. This was a request of my boy Kavin Venkatesh, if I remember correctly. Yep. W's in the chat from my boy Kavin. Now, believe it or not, this loadout is actually not that good late game. You might think... How is Ninja Alk Village not good late game? Um, your Perma Brew only has the set Perma Brew range. You can't move it around with the Heli. So Heli Elk Village 
is technically better late game most of the time. And obviously you have life rejuvenation and uh, money making with the heli. But we will still see if we can make this work with all that being said. Village buff the P-Brew. Yeah, true. Could do that. They're starting with Fedora. It's fine. Let's get my... Where do I want to place my ocean open? Probably right here. Oh, I leaked. Oh, they're going Boomerang. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that I leaked. They're going Boomerang. I think you're supposed to start with larger potions to be leakless on round one. Start with the larger potions. What you're supposed to do. Omen gives P-Brew more range temporarily. Omen doesn't give range. Omen gives attack speed and pierce. I thought. This guy will Fedora 7 a lot of times, then, I, then all out you. Then I'm a few. Okay. I see, I see. He sucks. That's not very nice. We're gonna place this. Right here, probably. Fine spot. Hey, be nice to my clan mate. Yeah, be nice to Hokage's clan mate, dude. Regular village gives the range, yeah. True with that. Let's go with pink balloons at him. We're going to target the living coral right about here. Upgrade my ninja a little bit. Thoughts on the meme strat tack farm spike factory? Um, It's a fun strat. I I've seen some people use it. I think I was watching a ninja stream once and he lost to tack farm spike factory on building site. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I've, I saw that happen before. Is this a request? Oh, uh, yes, this is a request. Do you play Clan Wars though? Not really. I don't know. Clan Wars have just not been it, bro. I th feel like they need an entire revamp, kind of. Stronger Acid. This elk spot's kind of crazy. Look at this. It's hitting like every black balloon. That alchemist spot's going crazy for us, ladies and gentlemen. They should give Clan Wars more hero XP and money. True. Ryan, Angola gained independence on November 11th, 1975. Thank you, Wikipedia. Boomer SPAC. What is this loadout? Boomer SPAC Mortar, maybe? Possibly. You play Battles 2, name the date it came out. Um, I honestly don't remember the date. I'm gonna guess off the back of my head. I know it was the end of November. I'm gonna guess November 30th, 2021. November 30th, 2021. Someone tell me the date it came out. That's my guess. I know it was the end of November. Someone tell me. Correct? I'm correct? No way. I got that on the dot? Are you are you pulling my leg, brother? Are you pulling my leg? Are you yanking my chain right now?
Bro, I was going ninja decamo. What date did you say? I said November 30th. Um, I said November 30th, 2021. He's rushing me with a door level. He's using a door sack. Is he rushing me? No. Would have been funny if you got the ear wrong. Imagine. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. I suck up balloons. Yeah, that's spot on. Congratulations, dude. That's crazy that I got it spot on like that. So it's been out for, um, Bloons has been out, Battles 2 has been out for two years, and like, what? Like two years and like four months or something. Now what time of day? I don't know the time of day, bro. I couldn't tell you that one. That's pushing it for me. No, one year? No. It came out 2021. In Bloons came out end of 2021. Been out for like two years and like four months. Okay, they sent me a Moab. I good thing I got the Jitsu up. Oh, the Moab actually just got destroyed immediately from my Living Coral. Living Coral goes crazy. Maybe I actually want to target this slightly, so it doesn't get eaten up by Moabs. Probably a good idea for me to... Send them some Zebra Balloon Eco. Because why not? Because I've got a pure Eco loadout. Probably a good, decent idea. They're sending me Zebras, which... I don't know if that's a good idea for them, because I have rubber to gold. Twelve AM New Zealand time was the time it was released. Interesting. I'll take your word for it. They sacrifice something, but they aren't rushing me. They're sacrificing stuff, I think, to low slow down my hero leveling. I'm not sure. That was a guess. I got you. Might as well go for a second rubber to gold here. Yeah, two rubber to golds is very smart if they're sending me zebras. I'm gonna make a lot of money from these. So you're gonna send me a fortified ZMG? If they do, I get a sticky bomb immediately. So far, nothing. There we go. Let's get jungle drums on this as well. Probably stop my eco. Couple shinobis in this. I feel like this defends quite easily, quite well. Just couple shinobi stacks with this, these guys. And we're cooking chat. Maybe one more shinobi stack, cause I got jungle drums on it too, which is really nice. Oh, they got the speed boost coming in here though. One more shinobi stack. Alright, it's tower boost. This defends, this defends. For sure. For sure, brother. I might need a um little, what's it called? One of the Lee's guys. Oh, I'm a couple doors off. Uh-oh. Not even close, not even close. All right, let's get my village up. Not even close, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. Come on. Do you think you're facing here, brother? We'll get the opalus up pretty soon. Flash bomb going crazy for Sinsides. Yeah, the dude. The flash bomb is so strong. 
very underrated ninja upgrade. You pretty much GG around 50? Nah. I can maybe GG around 40, but... This little it's not as good late game as one probably would think. Most of the time. I'm gonna have to move my village eventually, because I kinda want my perma brew in here. Now that I think about it. My village spot's not really um very good here. We don't want to have my perma replaced, actually. Let's figure that out. To like, cover the most area, cover the most ground. Maybe right here, because this this perma brew spot. Well, let's get another rubber to gold because he's sending me zebras. This perma brew spot. Where was it? Covers like the entire inside of this star, and it also gets like a lot of area on the left. I feel like this is a pretty salt spot for it. So yeah, we'll do that. We'll stop my eco. 5,500 eco is good. Who won the donation tourney? Bull tricks did. Let's actually move my farm or my balloon bot. All right, we're chilling, we're chilling. Let's get Perma Brew up. I can't actually fit that many ninjas out here, can I? I thought I'd be able to fit more. Come on. Okay, we fit four there. Inside the range. Fit four there. Can I fit one here? I can. All right, not actually bad. The track takes up a lot of space on this map, yeah. That's why having heli is really good because with heli, you can move your permabrew around and permabrew ninjas all across like the outside too, which is pretty effective. I'm gonna make the money from my opolis this round and I'm gonna sell it. Yeah, let's place these ninjas precisely. Wait, crap, I need to range buff my perma brew. How am I gonna, does that reach it? Um, I need to go for a primer expertise. <laughs> I need to go for a primer expertise to reach my perma brew, to give it range. Okay, 2000 IQ plays guys, 2000 IQ plays. Cause that's, that gives the village more range. Um, can I fit any more ninjas in here? I feel like I should be able to. Come on, come on, come on. You can sell primary expertise after he pre-brews everything, that's true. That's a good pl that's a good plan. That's a good good comms with me, good comms. Why bro? There's no way! Every time, dude! Come on! <laughs> Why? How are these people in whole masters, bro? I don't get it. Dude, what is that? What is that, chat? Alright. Um, here. I saw that coming from a mile away. Did you actually? Give me one second, chat. Blue Alk Ice? Cavin, bro, I appreciate the donations. I've got to put that one on the back burner for next stream because I'm probably going to end here. I'm getting kind of hungry. So we are going to send off a raid, though, for you guys. So stay tuned. One second. There is this other YouTuber who um, streams the game a lot. He's a really nice guy. So I'd appreciate if everyone stops by his uh, stream. Oh, I'm not even actually subscribed to him. Currently back.
I actually watch him quite a bit, so not being subscribed is not very good. But um, yeah, everybody, hop in his chat. I'm gonna spam the link in the chat. Uh, say Ryan Raid Games and Gains is a pretty nice guy. He deserves it. Send him some love, guys. I'll send it in my Twitch chat as well. And um, thank you everyone for stopping by. I appreciate you guys. Have a good one. Peace out.